Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the side of Sagittarius. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus signs specific. Any Sagittarius placement that you may resonate with, some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information is listed in the description box. At the end, we will put oracles, give you some more guidance for the week. Jumping right in, Sag, I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience. First card out this week is the Eight of Wands, followed by Major Arcana, the World, not the World, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, we have Justice, Major Arcana for Libra energy. Could be dealing with Libra, have that in your chart. But something, some of you might hit a lick. <laughs> Some sort of uh, balancing coming in here. Some sort of movement. Some sort of speed or moment momentum. Something gaining momentum. Could also be a conversation that creates some sort of like positive domino effect with the Wheel of Fortune and the Justice card. Some of you, whatever it is, it's going to create some sort of balance here. It's going to create some sort of fairness. However, that's going to play out. Fortune, it could literally be finances. Or it could just be some sort of uh, message or communication that you receive that sort of um, makes things go in your favor. That allows things to go in your favor. We have the Four of Cups. Yeah, it's like definitely things. something is gaining momentum here. The Four of, the four of Cups is very different energy from the Eight of Wands. It's very boring. This is like boredom. Uh, like what should I do with myself? I ain't got nothing going on. I, I don't really want to do anything. I have the option to do. But the Four of Cups can also be potentially not seeing an opportunity that is right in front of you. I don't think you see it yet, but I think you will soon. Or if this is someone you're, you're, that you're connected to. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like once this communication comes in, it's like you're going to think for a brief second. But I think whatever this is, I think you're going to go for it, to be honest. Or if this is someone that you're connected to, heavy masculine energy here as well. But masculine energy, we all have. It's just a matter of taking action. Ten of Wands. Yeah, whatever this sort of uh, movement is or potential is or communication is, it's meant to sort of alleviate some sort of pressure. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Ten of Cups, the Lover's card, yeah, but you got to choose it. Gemini Energy with the Lover's card here. This is all about exercising free will. And I think that's what the Seven of Cups is about. Seven of, Seven of Pentacles, sorry. Two of Swords, the Magician, yeah, Nine of Wands. So for some of you, it's like, you know, you're just going along. Uh, nothing was really moving. Nothing was really happening with the Four of Cups and the Two of Swords. You weren't seeing something go a certain way. You just weren't seeing progress in whatever aspect. Some of you twerk. Some of you, this is connection with someone else. But uh, there was no progress. You weren't seeing any progress. You weren't seeing it going the way maybe you want it to go. Because that's also the Four of Cups. A vibe of like a little brattiness. A little bit of brattiness. You know, the way he's got his arms crossed. It's like, eh, it's none, none, none of these are what I want. This is not what I want. But this is also a vibe of you're not seeing something. You weren't seeing something. Heavy emphasis on not seeing something with the Two of Swords here. Being blindfolded. Or this could be someone that you're connected to. Not seeing something yet because there is a little bit of patience a sense of patience here with the seven of um pentacles that's all about waiting as well waiting for things to pay off waiting for something to pay off whatever was invested i guess whatever was invested you're waiting for it to pay off whether that is time energy or money it's going to though but you are going to still have to choose it because whatever it is, whatever situation that you're dealing with here that you're not seeing the progress with seems to be the same situation that's going to actually be the one presenting you or offering you this sort of progress. But you still have to choose it. Whatever this offer is, whatever this movement is, whatever this um, communication is, it's meant to take load off of you. You have two tens here. The ten of wands is my you're doing too much card. You know, doing things on your own, by yourself, having to have done that for a while. This opportunity is meant to sort of alleviate some of that because we see here multiple people, right? He's by himself in all of these. 
but he does have a, he does have, have the opportunity to be doing it with someone else. But the choice is yours or this person's, however it goes. Some of you might be a little bit bitter from the fact that it took so long or it didn't happen on your time frame. Or it didn't go though it didn't pa it didn't play out the way you thought it would play out. But this is saying probably this is a heads up and saying don't don't watch that. Take things at face value. You know, not not because you don't see things happening or things are not happening at your pace or at your speed doesn't mean they're not happening. Sometimes they end up happening a lot better than what we could have even planned. And it's kind of like leave room for that. Because there is a lot of potential here. Ten of Cups is all about long-term stability. Something that's going to make you happy for a long time. Not just instant gratification, but long-term. But you still got to choose it. You still got to make the choice. It's like a, it went slow in order for it to be able to go fast. Because usually things that start off fast and burn out fast, right? And maybe that is what you're used to. But this is saying, whatever the situation is, it didn't go the way you're used to things going. And that is what's kind of throwing you off or putting you in this funk or this mood or um, tempting you to sort of not look at the option anymore. But this is saying, don't do that. You definitely need to look at this because this is probably what you've manifested. The magician energy. Or just focus on yourself in the meantime, but this is probably what you've manifested. But will you be able to see that? It's like that saying, um, would no love if it hit you in the face, right? Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Queen of Cups, Feminine energy, Seven of Cups. So it does look like you are dealing with someone here, but it also looks like that both of you are in feminine energy. The, neither of you are taking action. Could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Spicy, Scorpio, or a Earth sign. But this is deliberate is the vibe that I'm getting. Neither of you are taking action. There is love here and there is promise here, but neither of you are sort of taking action right now or up until now at least. And this is why it kind of has you in this four of cups like, ugh, this ain't it. You're thinking this ain't it, but there's definitely something you're not seeing here. A very um, good opportunity, a solid opportunity. And it is love. So just because something is not going the way you want it to right now doesn't mean it won't. Especially with this justice card here. Balance will be... You, there will be balance. This is this is what you think it's going to be. But it's not happening on your time frame. Or vice versa. There is a little bit of patience that is needed to be um, exercised here. Not a lot because it would have been the temperance card. The seven of pentacles is just a little bit of patience. Just a little bit. Not too much. Just a little bit. Be a little bit of patience. Maybe focus on yourself in the meantime. Focus on self. And it will go by faster. Guidance for Sagittarius, please, if this is a romantic connection. But it's like, don't write something off so quick. Even if it's a job. Maybe you're starting a job and, you know, they, they told you you're going to be making 180k a year. But uh, you fail to read the part where it says you got to slowly build that. You don't just get that out the bait or, you know, you got to wait six months and then they move you to it. And then for every six months and then after a year or two years, then you are at 180K. It's like you just saw the 180K and you kind of ran for it. But in the fine print, you didn't read the fine print. And it's like uh, they give they get you to 180K every six months. So it's like, it's not like you're not going to get it. But you just wanted to start the job and be at 180K. Like, nah, that's not how they do it. You will get there. But they want to make sure you're with them for them, that you're not just there for the 180K. So it's like every six months you get a raise and after a year and a half, you are at 180K. That's just an example. Obviously, for some of you, this is love. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So that's what the doubt is. It's not playing out the way you want it to go. It's not looking how you want it to look. And look what's at the bottom of the deck. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And I was getting that temperance energy, but this is minor arcana to the temperance. So this is saying it's not going to be a huge weight, just a little weight, because things are happening in the meantime. It's just not moving at the pace that you want it to move. It's moving. It's just not moving the way you want it to move. But doesn't mean that the payoff is not going to be just as good or even better than what you have sort of envisioned. Right. So we're going to take the worth waiting for and put that right here. 
It is safe for you to love. Yeah, this is this is causing you to panic a little bit, especially if this is a connection. Give your relationship a chance. Express your love. Yeah, this is a connection. The fact that it's not moving at the pace that you'd like it to move is making you think that this ain't it. You're tempted to write the situation off. And this is saying, don't do that. Don't do that. Guidance for Sag, please. It's definitely the situation that you want. Just got to have a little patience. It's getting there. Let go. Could definitely be of some sort of control. Let go. Let God. Yeah, focus on self. And again, trust. Two cards of trust here. The situation will improve. I mean, I didn't say it. I mean, I did say it, but Divine's confirming it. Okay? Divine confirmed it. And obviously, this will not be for all of you. But this is for those of you who are dealing with a particular situation. And it's, you know, you're kind of thinking, I should just leave this alone altogether. No, nah, don't do that. Wait it out a little bit. Seven of Pentacles. Wait it out a little bit. Because other than the, the pace, there probably isn't that many uh, other things wrong with this other than the pace. For those of you where this is your story, the pace. Oh my God. Patience. In just a few or more months, good things come to those who wait for it. I mean, yeah, there's that. The quite literal word. Moving. Change of residence. Moving in with your partner. The eight of wands is also a sense of moving. So... Some of you, it's a house. You know, you want to move, you want to do something, you want to travel, but the timing is just not, it's not happening when you want it to. But don't, it's the same. Stop being a brat, okay? <laughs> Stop being a brat. Focus on something else. Focus on self, especially if this is like a vacation or something. Like, focus on getting your body ready, okay? Or whatever. Get your little outfits together. Your little toiletry bags and all that. Stop focusing on when it's going to happen. Just prepare yourself. Align yourself Focus on what you need to be, what you need to have, what you need to be in order to be ready. And if this is a job situation, that's the same. Just keep showing up. In time, you will get exactly what it is that you signed up for. Probably even better. Right? Because there's probably some bonuses that you don't know about that are waiting for you at the 180k mark. But you just don't want to wait for it. Guidance, please, for Sagittarius. Emotions are running high. Some of you are in your feelings. Hold your vision. Someone's in their feelings a little bit. But I don't think it'll be for long. Okay, if this is a friend of yours, then yeah, talk some sense into them. They're trying to throw away something just because it's not moving as fast. They need to they need to stop. But, I, but at, at the end of the day, free will is yours. Okay, but if you choose to walk away from this and, you know, then it's definitely not going to happen anytime soon. It's like grass is greener type of vibes, right? The grass is, is just, you don't just, you know, just because your grass ain't green. You got to stay and water it. That's, also, that's very much also what the Seven of Pentacles is about. Watering your own grass. Awakening inspired action. There is only what life is asking of me. Think life is asking you to water your own grass. Focus on watering your own grass and watch how all grass just starts getting mad green around you. Animal Oracle. Do I have one? No. Sagittarius. The grass is green where you water it. Vulture spirit. Nothing is wasted. Yeah, some of you are afraid to waste time. Very much. Seven of Pentacles. You're afraid to waste time. Number 36. 63, which is a nine. Completion. And number 51, Sandpiper, which is a six. Be playful. This is saying lighten up. Nothing is wasted. You're not wasting your time. Lighten up a little bit. Just a little bit. Do something. Do something. You know, go do something. To kind of get your mind off of this. All right, Sag. That is your reading. Hopefully it resonates. Thumbs me up. Do not forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.